So today, uh, tomorrow, I mean, uh, inshallah, uh, we'll try to see uh, some masjid, inshallah. This is the best, best place, you know, the first place I should visit everywhere. You know, everywhere I go, I should go first to the masjid, inshallah, and uh, to see how they are, inshallah. Because I have tattoos, I cannot enter the masjid because he says that I'm uh, non Muslim because I have tattoos. <laughs> على موجة الاف ام بذبذبة مقدارها 89.9 ميجا هرت في ولاية بسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من So now we are uh, so now we are going to visit inshallah the grand mosque of Oman Muscat inshallah so just uh, the surrounding of the masjid mashallah seriously it's beautiful really beautiful Assalamu alaikum yeah it's like a small piece of the paradise on this earth, mashallah, so beautiful. Liberic, mashallah. He said a grand mosque. I think, I believe, this is this is going to be um, the biggest mosque I ever visited until now. This is what I believe. Uh, maybe not. I went to Medina. And I went to Mecca, but after that, you know, after that, <laughs> after that, I think that's gonna be the biggest mosque. So we'll see. Come, follow me. I find it always funny to see some old phone boot. So you say hi? No? Okay. So um, I was trying to enter the masjid, but because I have tattoos, because I have tattoos, first time this happened to me, because I have tattoos. I cannot enter the masjid because he says that I'm a non-Muslim because I have tattoos. So this is what happened today. Um, this is what happened today. Um, excuse me, so you speak English? Yeah, okay. Uh, can I ask you something? Because he, he said he doesn't want me to, I'm a convert to Islam and I have tattoo from before. And I understand he said I cannot go to the masjid. So can you, can you, I'm not sure he's speaking Arabic. Can you speak with him and tell me what he, did, he said, uh, please? Sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So we're gonna see if it's true. I don't, I'm not, I don't know because I don't really understand what is, uh, what is it in, 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 in English. So let's see. Uh, him, just, I, I wanna understand what, what. <laughs> Okay, it's forbidden to enter the masjid because you have tattoo. So here, yeah. this masjid? Yeah. So I cannot pray. Let's say if I want to pray, I, don't, I can't because yeah. I have tattoos. You can, but they, the regulation, they cannot allow you to to to, to go inside the, the masjid. Oh yeah. Okay, so so yeah. never. Masjid Ali Igdar, yes. Never? No, never. Okay, thank you. You, you can go to any mosque, so, uh, masjid. Uh, okay. But, but, but not here. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Sorry. you. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, so. 
yeah this is what happened so this is this was the the short visit actually i wanted to do a, a small video today because uh, i did not have um, uh, the internet here in oman is terrible like i didn't find high speed internet until now so i had to make a, a fast video you know fast vlog uh, so that that's what it is that the, the, the vlog today is about if you have tattoos you cannot go inside the grand mosque of uh, oman that, that's what it is with tattoos you're maybe a non-muslim like i can't pray like like that's that's what it is yeah you know you know when things like that happen you know shaitan you know <laughs> so still you know help me make that world known this video has to be seen to like everybody in the world you know that in in oman if you have tattoos you're maybe a non-muslim and you can't enter the big uh, the grand mosque so make that video viral make that video viral I, I'm, I'm i'm asking you to just share it you watch it share it thank you <laughs> No, subhanAllah, just, this just made me a big reminder, subhanAllah, you know, maybe all your life, maybe all our life we're living as a Muslim and we're trying to, to, do, to do good deeds and maybe, you know, and just maybe, you know, those deeds are not accepted by Allah. And maybe, just maybe, we think we're going to heaven, we're going to paradise, and at the day of judgment, that's going to be the real thing, you know? Maybe we just said, we just say, maybe we're just saying that, yes, I'm a Muslim, but I don't pray, but I'm still a Muslim in my heart, you know? And I still do good deeds. The other people, you know, they wear a veil, a jilbab, niqab, but they don't have, they're not good with the people. They steal, maybe they, they lie, you know? Maybe the brother has a big beard and he's doing all his salat in the masjid, but, you know, he drink alcohol. And, you know, me, you know, maybe you're gonna say, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a beard. Or I don't wear the, the hijab or the jilbab or the niqab. But on, at least I'm good. I'm good with people. I smile, you know? Maybe I don't do my prayer, but at least, you know, I give charity to the, to the poor. But we have to be careful of what is important and what is obligatory. And we have to be sure that everything we do is accepted by Allah. Because maybe now, you know, for me, go inside of the masjid and I was not accepted because I had tattoos. That's okay. I can't pray anywhere in the world, you know? Allah said the world is a masjid. So anywhere here, I can pray. 
and I can worship Allah. I don't need to be in a mosque. But when is going to be the day of the judgment? And But when is it going to be the time that we're going to die? And we're going to have to answer those three questions. Question. You know, who is your God? What is your religion? Who is your prophet? But you know the answers. But even if you know them, if you didn't live by them, you will not be able to answer them. So you will answer those questions on how you live your life today in the dunya. And this would be the biggest calamity that one thing that is going to go to paradise, but at the door, we're going to be denied. That, that for eternity, you will want to eat your finger of regret. So may Allah guide us all, you know, may Allah guide us all. And if I did something wrong, ask Allah to forgive me. And if the brother did something wrong, ask Allah to forgive him as well. You know, we all make mistakes. I just hope by that video, at least the world can be shared. And maybe, maybe, just maybe someone will give him a good reminder or maybe give me a reminder. Maybe I'm, I'm the one that is not right. I'm the one that is that is wrong, you know, but with that video I try to do I try to share the good and the good on everybody and the good on the religion and just share happiness and good information. So my brothers and sisters, I love you. I love you for the sake of Allah. And inshallah, ask Allah to guide us all in the right path. In the path of paradise. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.